Hello! It's Sahira and I am now post-COVID vaccine. Um, I tend to get very, very nervous about these things, but I came well prepared. I massaged some lavender oil onto my feet and my temples this morning and um, I brought my music and my headphones with me. Um, it wasn't that bad. I mean, I was terrified of injections when I was a little girl and one time we got into a car accident and they had to give me an injection, maybe tetanus or something, and I remember screaming and fighting, physically fighting the people off and I jumped off the table and they had to physically restrain me <laughs> in order to give me this injection. It seems funny now, but it wasn't at all funny then. And I have a tendency to get very nervous and I feel like I'm going to pass out. And I have to say that on a pain level, the injection itself was not nearly as painful as I remember from my childhood or not as painful <clears throat> as I thought it would be. But um, the after effects, I definitely felt soreness in my arm and I started to feel queasy when I handed the guy, my, the pharmacist, my um, international immunization record to see if if this was something that that should be added to that. My hand was shaking, my voice was shaking, um, but I had my music, and that helped so much. Um, when when I had to wait my fifteen minutes. I was a little bit concerned which way I was going to go, if I was going to feel less nervous during those 15 minutes, or was I going to pass out during those 15 minutes? What if I pass out while I'm driving home? <laughs> um, I had these concerns, but the longer I sat there listening to my music, the better I felt, and it, it felt even better to get my body moving, to get up and and walk from that seat to my car felt good. And so now I'm going to continue listening to music and I'm going to eat and drink. I brought some chicken soup with me and lemon water and conveniently I'm in a shopping center. There's a grocery store I'll be able to use a bathroom. So I'm just going to hang out here and then I'll be walking again from the car to the grocery store and back to the car. And if I want to, I can take another walk too. It's a sunny day. It's cool, but it's sunny. And maybe I'll just walk around a little bit. I have to weigh it out. Do I want to walk before leaving or am I anxious to just be home? <laughs> Um, I'll weigh it out, but I don't feel too badly talking to, like doing something engaging um, is helping to take my mind off of, oh my God, my arm is sore and oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> and the, the other thing too is that um, while I've been doing my... Um, yoga teacher training modules. Um, I'm in the meditation section right now, and one of the teachers always uses some kind of intentional phrase um, in her personal practice, and as she's teaching, she also uses this phrase and encourages us to come up with our own phrase of intention. And I guess the Sufi invocation does kind of fall into that category, or the Muslims saying, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, we begin in the name of God who is all-merciful and all-compassionate. 
though that's like a general intention and formula, but she was speaking more in the realm of a personal intention and even a uh, uh, situation specific intention. So that's not something I usually do. I usually do lots and lots of chanting and practices, but I don't usually u- utilize some kind of affirmative statement or intention. But I did. <laughs> when I was sitting waiting for this injunction, I used the phrase that I was familiar with from my classes with this one yoga teacher, and, and I affirmed, this injection will make me healthy and happy. And I affirmed that three times, and then I added it to it also. I am surrounded by divine, protective light. <laughs> and I affirmed that three times, and I imagined being showered with white light. So <laughs> those are all my tricks and tools, and I am on the other side now. So far, I have no side effects. I was just a little nervous, and my arm was a little sore. And there are some people who probably wouldn't find that very dramatic at all, and they wouldn't feel like passing out. <laughs> um, some guys, some men who got this injection, I don't even think they waited the 15 minutes they were supposed to wait. They just immediately left. It was no big deal in there world. (laughs) Um, So that's my story. I'm going to eat now. Okay. um, (laughs) Bye-bye.